in this video we are going to be giving you a in detail review of the displays that nowadays maruti suzuki is using in all their new cars such as this all new maruti suzuki vitara breeza we have got this car from maruti suzuki auto vogue which is a arena dealership here in the industrial area of panchkula so if you are interested to buy any maruti suzuki car you can contact them using the links in the description below and so let's get started with the detailed review of the displays in these cars along with the smaller the features and how to exactly operate the display Alright so now talking about displays about Maruti Suzuki cars we first off have this style setup over here which is the home setup in where we have this style for the audio in this car like right now fm is playing so it's giving us the audio fm preset and which preset is playing it's telling us that if your bluetooth was connected then it would give you about uh, the information about the music that is playing and all that jazz about audio is given in this style then over here we have our first off the average mileage of the car and then the range of the car and similarly if i move this style over here it gives us the date and time and similarly uh, analog clock so that's a pretty nice feature then over here we have our phone media and connect connect is for the apple car play android auto and mirror link in this car so that is pretty cool we have media for choosing which audio preset you want like fm am drm usb bluetooth or the aux so that can be done through media over here and then this is the back button and if your phone was connected you can connect phone over here to dial a number or anything sort of like now but as my phone is not connected right now it's giving me a option to connect a paired device or connect a new device so that is pretty cool now going back to the home button over here this is the home button it's a small little square given over there and uh, so this is pretty much all about the home screen of this car and then you have the This notification tray over here, which can be pressed, and the notification comes down. In which we have the A H A app, which can only be used if you have the Suzuki smartphone app in your phone. Then we have our paired devices. If you want to change the paired device connected to your phone, or you want to pair a new device, audio settings, uh, which are standard, the audio settings. Then the one feature about this uh, display, which I really like, is of adding something else. Now, say you use uh, something really, really frequently, so you can just add that. Add as a favorites over here. If I press add over here, it gives me the option of connecting which I want with that small add button. Like if I want to uh, make that small add button my phone linkage, I can do that. If I want it to my phone SMS, I can do that. Similarly, you have a whole different array of things like date and time, phone contacts, and all that stuff. So that is pretty cool. And not just one, you have three different favorite settings over here. Another great feature of this home page over here is, is that you can also control where you want exact app to be. For example, you don't want your phone app to be over here, and you want to change its position to this. That is. the most near to the driver position you can actually do that you want the connect app to be over there you can do that so that way you can also adjust where you want the app on your home screen so that is a pretty nice feature as well right so that was about the home page now we will move on into the settings of this car so if i move on to settings over here we first off have display in display we have brightness of the display and the mode that is in day mode right now the headlights of the car are off that's why it's in day mode but as soon as you turn on the headlights or something it will turn into night mode in which it turns down the brightness of this car so that the light doesn't reflect in your eyes while you're driving at night so that's a pretty cool feature as well moving back we have the date and time so if you want to change the date and time in this car uh, change it to 24 hour format you don't like that am pm system you can change it to that everything over here regarding the date and display can be done over here moving back we have vehicle alerts in which we have door open warning parking brake warning seat belt warning fuel level low warning key for battery warning now all this is pretty great because you can individually turn off which alert you don't want to see for example a low fuel warning you shouldn't actually turn it off but say you are in a system where uh, the fuel of the car is low and you've been driving it for two or three trips so soon as you turn on the car after those two and three trips it's going to start uh, beeping on you that the fuel level is low and you already know that so you can just turn it off in the display and it won't bother you for the next time now moving back we have the lock keypad while driving which is also a great feature you can toggle it on or off through here Now what it does is that while you're driving it will lock the keypad of the phone system over here. Why that is good is because it won't distract you while you're driving because it is pretty unsafe to drive your car and then you're also dialing the number which you want to call. So if you lock the keypad it just simply won't show you and you won't get distracted. So that's very good as well. And then moving down below we have uh, the security in this car. So if you turn that on you can turn on security pin protection as well. Say you want to uh, lock your display so you're giving your car 
away to a, a valet and you don't want them to fiddle around with your display right so you can just put down a pin in this car so that the valet which enters your car won't be able to fiddle around with the display unless and until that valet knows the pin which most likely he won't so that's why you can add a pin in this car and that's a very good feature as well now moving back once again going down we have system information and then reset to factory settings which all of that is pretty standard and you don't really need to fiddle around with them every single day then we have our audio settings over here which is the bass mid and treble so if you want to change the bass of the car or something like that you can do it from here then we have the balance fader which side you want to be biased with the audio that is the driver side or the passenger side you can do it from here then we have our equalizer presets such as rock jazz and all that stuff then we have the volume controls so phone call volume phone ringtone volume system volume everything can be controlled through this display and then we have our speed dependent volume which you can turn off on high intensity medium intensity and low intensity which means that when you're driving at um, say a high speed at that time the road noise is very high as well so at that time the system will intelligently turn up the volume by a few notches so that the road noise doesn't interfere with your music similarly if you're driving really slow at that time the road noise is not that much so the volume will also be a little less so that you can you know drive a little more carefully so that is also a really nice feature then we have the system beeping which the system is beeping as soon as I touch it every time if you don't want that system beach well just simply turn it off and now even if I display touch the display anytime it won't turn that beep sound on then we have our volume annuation driving reverse which means that when you put this car into reverse the music volume would turn down so that you can carefully reverse your car so you can turn it on or if you are not um, you know distracted with music while driving you can just turn it off as well so it won't bother you then we have our radio controls in which we have am active drm active drm settings now a lot of people in india don't use drm or am and if you don't want that to show up on this display and distract you well you can just turn it off and that way whenever you press this mode button on the steering wheel it won't even show up as am and drm so that's a pretty cool feature as well. I'm just going to turn it on as it was earlier. So that's about the radio controls and settings in this car. Then we have our phone settings in this car um, in which first off we have smartphone linkage. So if I press that we have for smartphone linkage like I told you we have three things. Um, sm uh, Smart Play Studio, Apple CarPlay and on Android Auto. And then going back we have uh, the phone settings in this car like messages, ringtone, uh, contact storing, rename unit head. Now why this is really good because say you don't want to you know get notified when you get a message on your phone well you can turn it off from here you want to turn on the phone ringtone well you can do it from this display do you not want your contacts to store get stored in your display while you're connecting your phone well you can do that as well and you can also rename the head unit that is the Vitara Brisa display over here so whenever you want to connect your phone the Bluetooth will actually name Vitara Brisa but you can change it as well if you want to say you know say Raghav's Vitara Brisa you can do that and you can rename from here so that is the complete demonstration of the settings in this car going back to the home screen then we have our music over here which is once again the just the media in which you can control fm am drm usb bluetooth aux and that is pretty much it this is the most uh, latest update that the maruti suzuki cars have got in their displays and this is all about it and one more feature that i want to tell you is that this um, turn off button if you press it the car display just completely goes off and all you can see is the date and time and the analog clock that's all this display has to offer so that was the detailed review of the display in all new Maruti Suzuki cars. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about our video. Share this video as much as you can and a subscribe would also be appreciated. Thank you.